Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Thomas returns to Los Angeles minus Paris, trouble in paradise. The bold and the beautiful spoilers hint that Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, could soon return to Los Angeles without Paris Buckingham, Diamond White, in tow. Is there trouble in paradise or is Thomas just returning for a quick visit, while Paris is busy doing something else. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Thomas Forrester will always be concerned about Hope Logan. The bold and the beautiful spoilers suggest that Thomas could return home to L.A. and bring Douglas Forrester, Henry Joseph Samiri, along for the ride. After all, once Thomas finds out that hope for the future has been axed, he will certainly be concerned about Hope Logan, Annika Noel. Thomas may feel that Hope needs to see her son at this time. Thomas will likely mourn the loss of Hope for the future as well. After all, Thomas has been Hope's lead designer for years. Thomas only quit earlier this year when he left town. Thomas will also hate this for Hope because he knows how much of herself she put into this line. Thomas is losing what he considered his clothing line as well. B and B spoilers, Thomas Forrester and Hope Logan were a team. Thomas and Hope were a team when it came to hope for the future. It would be very stranger if Thomas didn't even check in at Forrester and offer his opinion about the line being shut down. Thomas and Hope worked side by side to make this line a success. It seems only fitting that Thomas and Hope spend some time reminiscing about their time there. Thomas may want some of the pictures and awards that hope for the future has collected over the years. Thomas could also need closure when it comes to his and Hope's partnership there. Hope for the future was much more than Hope and Thomas's last relationship, it was the livelihood of both of them for a very long time. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Thomas Forrester could be making plans. Thomas could come back to Los Angeles for another reason entirely. What if Thomas is coming back to make plans for his and Paris wedding at the Forrester mansion? All Hope needs right now is to know that Thomas is going through with his marriage to Paris. Hope could become resentful and even blame Thomas for the end of HFTF. Will Hope and Thomas clash over his return to Los Angeles? Could Hope and Thomas reconnect on some level and be glad for the time they shared together while running her line? Hope for the future was the best of Hope and Thomas. Can these two close that chapter and move on now that it's all said and done? In a city known for its glitz, glamour, and incessant drama, Los Angeles was always the perfect backdrop for the Foresters, Lobins, and Spencers. Yet, as the sun set on a warm evening, one of its prominent figures, Thomas Forrester, returned alone. No Paris in sight. This absence raised more than a few eyebrows. Could it be trouble in paradise for the once-blossoming couple? The answer seemed murky, but as we know in the world of the bold and the beautiful, secrets never stay buried for long. A stormy return— Thomas had left Los Angeles with a heart full of hope. His relationship with Paris Buckingham seemed solid, after all, they shared both passion and purpose. He found her sharp mind and her sense of fun irresistible. She, in turn, saw in Thomas a man with deep convictions, a talented designer trying to rebuild his life after a long string of mistakes. But as Thomas walked through the doors of Forrester Creations upon his return, the atmosphere crackled with tension— his demeanor was different, stoic, distant. There was no mention of Paris, and when people asked, he simply shrugged it off with a vague, she's staying in Europe for a bit longer. However, the way his jaw clenched whenever her name came up hinted at a story far more complicated. Brooke Logan was the first to catch wind of something being off. She was never Thomas' biggest fan, and her maternal instincts toward her daughter Hope always made her wary of Thomas' intentions. It doesn't take a psychic to see that Thomas has trouble written all over him, she whispered to Ridge, her husband and Thomas' father. Paris isn't with him, and he's acting even more brooding than usual. Something's up. Ridge, as usual, dismissed it. Thomas is fine, Brooke. You're overthinking it. He's just been focused on the international expansion of hope for the future. But Brooke wasn't so easily convinced, and neither was Hope. Hope's conflicted heart— Hope Logan had tried to move on from Thomas' romantic advances in the past. She was happily married to Liam Spencer, and the two shared a family. But the connection between Hope and Thomas always lingered, complicated by their shared passion for the Hope for the Future fashion line. When Thomas returned without Paris, 
Hope found herself feeling uneasy. Was it concern for Thomas or something deeper? Hope couldn't shake the feeling that Thomas' relationship with Paris had hit a roadblock, and the thought of it stirred emotions she wasn't ready to face. Could her lingering feelings for Thomas resurface? Was she worried about his happiness, or was she questioning her own? She pushed those thoughts aside and tried to focus on her family, but the tension between her and Liam became palpable. Liam noticed it too. Why do you care so much about Thomas? He's back, he's fine, and Paris isn't with him, so what? Liam asked, his frustration clear. Hope tried to downplay it. I'm just concerned about him. We work closely together, and I've always cared about his well-being. But deep down, Hope knew it wasn't just about work. Trouble in paradise. Meanwhile, whispers began circulating about what really happened between Thomas and Paris. Send Forrester, Paris' ex-boyfriend and Thomas' cousin, had always harbored unresolved feelings for Paris. He found Thomas' return without her suspicious. When he reached out to Paris, she was evasive, citing work in Europe as her reason for staying away, but Zend could sense something was amiss in her tone. Curious. Zend confronted Thomas one evening at the Forrester mansion. Thomas, what's really going on with you and Paris? She's been avoiding my calls and now you come back without her. Did something happen between you two? Thomas' expression darkened. It's complicated, Zend. Paris and I, we hit a rough patch. She wanted some time apart, and I figured it was best to give her space. Zend wasn't buying it. Time apart? That doesn't sound like Paris. She's always been upfront about her feelings. What aren't you telling me? Thomas sighed, running a hand through his hair. I didn't want to admit it, but things have been falling apart between us for a while. The distance didn't help. I've been so focused on work, on proving myself, that I didn't realize I was neglecting her. When I finally did, it was too late. Paris met someone else while she was in Europe. Sen's eyes widened in surprise. She met someone else? Who? Thomas shook his head. I don't know, she didn't give me details. All I know is that she said she needed to find herself, and that being with me right now wasn't what she wanted. The news hit Zen like a punch to the gut. Despite everything, a part of him still loved Paris. Hearing that she had moved on stun, but he couldn't help but feel sympathy for Thomas too. I'm sorry man. That's rough. Thomas Forrester's return to Los Angeles was anything but quiet. After a lengthy absence, where many believed he'd found happiness with Paris Buckingham, his solo arrival back in the city has sparked speculation. The usually confident and composed Thomas appeared distracted, and his missing companion raised more questions than he was ready to answer. At first, his decision to stay low-key seemed strategic. Thomas slipped back into Forrester creations with minimal fanfare, focusing on work as if nothing had changed. But it didn't take long for whispers to circulate. Where was Paris? They had left LA on what had seemed like a romantic getaway, escaping the whirlwind drama of their families and the ever-present tension with his ex, Hope Logan. Some were even convinced that Thomas and Paris had been headed toward something more serious, perhaps even an engagement. But now, with her conspicuous absence, the dream of happily ever after seemed distant. Ridge Forrester's Concern Ridge Forrester, always one to notice the subtle shifts in his son's demeanor, was the first to confront Thomas. Over a casual father-son lunch at El Giardino, Ridge couldn't help but ask about Paris. Thomas, I have to ask, is everything okay with you in Paris? Ridge's voice held that familiar tone of concern, the one he used when trying to help without overstepping. Thomas shifted uncomfortably, swirling the remains of his coffee, eyes not meeting his father's. We're figuring things out, he replied, the words hanging in the air like an unfinished thought. Ridge raised an eyebrow, figuring things out. Thomas sighed, finally meeting Ridge's gaze. It's complicated, Dad. We had different expectations of what our future together should look like.